sitting up on the bank. Oh, yeah, there you are. They're all over the place. One, two, three, yeah, four, one in the water. five, and there's one in the water, six. We finally managed to find where the freshwater crocs have been hiding from their cannibalistic cousins, the salties. Now, they might look small, these freshwater crocodiles, but don't be fooled, they've still got an unbelievable jaw pressure and very sharp teeth. So if we got bitten by one, we would certainly be in the hospital. Stitches, maybe worse. There's so many in this little hole that, yeah, you run the risk of standing on one. We've just got to be super careful. Catching crocs like this in the middle one. This is how you do it. Pretty much the only way of getting them. We know there's a croc in here somewhere. Oh, OK. We got one. You got yeah. one. We got him here. His head's loose, Jack. You're at the bitey end. Okay. Ah! Yes! Uh. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> wow, they're actually unbelievably strong, these crocodiles. Ooh, you you wouldn't believe it, even at this size. You got oh, it? Yeah. Excellent. What a beauty. Look at that. Freshwater crocodile. You can see how they're different to the salties with that narrow snout. The salties have that broad snout. They're not as aggressive as the salty. These guys are still really, really strong. OK, let's get them out here. This is the time of catching crocodiles. To do these surveys, you have to do this. You get these nets in and catch crocodiles by hand like this. Wow, what a thrill. Just tie it off. Lich on the top. Yep, yep. Now we've got it secure. We need our grey tape. Ah, 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 ah. Right around like that, that's it. So this is gonna quieten him down a fair bit. Two, two, three. We're collecting the data that we really need to work out what is happening to these guys. Over. Because they're being pushed away out of their usual habitat. So it's three nails, two without. And they're gonna be pushed into these little water holes with less food. Tether him. We'll just leave them all on this river bank until we're ready to release them. Back to work. Wow, that's a big one. Woo! Oh, we've got one on this side too. OK, we got a lot. That's a noise from a freshie. They make that vocalisation. They do that when they're panicking, hoping that the mum would come back. Normally when they're much smaller, but that's... There's crocs everywhere in here. This one's a bit, a bit heavier than the other one, Charlie. Well, this is it. This is the last croc. We had nine crocs, and out of all of those, seven were female, two male. That's good news. Males can breed with the females. Just under six feet. The bad news, who knows how long it will take for a massive salty to invade this billabong. Off you go, mate. Wow! Woo! We need to figure out how the salties are working their way into new territories. 